this video has some questions solved and which are based on percentage. So this is the first question. If 25% of a number is subtracted from a second number, the second number reduces to its 5 sixths. What is the ratio of the first number to the second number? Okay, so let the first number be x and the second number be y. Now let's see what is given. 25% of a number is subtracted from a second number. So we have y as the second number minus we have we are subtracting this 25% of first number. So y minus 25 upon 100 x. It is equal to the second number reduces to its 5 sixth. So 5 by 6 of y. Now we have to find out x by y. The ratio of the first number to the second number. So let us rearrange this y minus this 5 by 6 y comes left. So minus 5 by 6 y is equals to 25 by 100 x goes to the right. So 25 by 100 x. 25 times 1 is 25. 25 times 4 is 100. Now the left hand side of the equals to we have 6 y minus 5 y divided by 6 is equal to 1 by 4 x. And that is 6y minus 5y gives you y by this is 6 is equals to x by 4. Therefore, I can say that x by y is equals to 4 by 6. Now dividing the numerator and denominator by 2, I get 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. So x by y is equals to 2 by 3. So the ratio of the first number to the second number is 2 is to 3. Option B. The difference of two numbers is 20% of the larger number. If the smaller number is 20, then the larger number is. Let the larger number be x. So the difference of these two numbers is given, which is 20% of the larger number. So the larger number minus the smaller number, which is 20. So larger number minus 20 is equal to the difference is 20% of the larger number. So 20 by 100 x. We can solve this. x minus 20 by 100 is equals to this 20 goes to the right. So it becomes plus 20. Now this single x I can write it as 100 x by 100. So as to make the denominator common. So I can write this as in the denominator I have 100 common. 100 x minus this is x actually 100 x minus 20 x is 80 x which is equal to 20. Now this 0 and this 0 get cancelled out. x is equal to 20 times 10 by 8 and 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times 4 is 8. So I have 100 by 4 and that is 25. So the larger number is 25. If one number is 80% of the other and 4 times the sum of their squares is 656, then the numbers are. Well, let us first consider these numbers as x and y. There are two numbers, x and y. Now it is given that one number is 80% of the other. So let us say that y is equal to 80% of the other. That means 80 times 80 upon 100 times x and the other information that is given is 4 times the sum of their squares is 656. So 4 times the sum of their squares so x square plus y square is equals to 656. That's what we have. Now we can put the value of y as 80 upon 100 x in this equation. So we get 4 times x square, so I have 4x square plus 4 times I have 80 upon 100x the whole square is equal to 656. Now 80 upon 100 is I can say 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10. So 4 by 5. 
So this is equal to 4x square plus 4 and I have 4x by 5 whole square. Now I can write 4x by 5 whole square as 4 square x square divided by 5 square. So 4 square is 16. So 4 times 16 x square divided by 5 square is 25 is equal to 656. Now I can divide this complete equation by 4. I get 4x square by 4 is x square plus 4 times 16 x square by 25 divided by 4 is this 4 gets cancelled out. I get 16 x square by 25 is equals to 656 divided by 4. I get 164. Therefore, 25 x square plus 16 x square divided by 25 is equal to 164. And this can be written as 164, this 25 goes to the right, so 164 times 25. So this is 41 x square is equal to 164 times 25. So therefore, x square is equal to 164 times 25 divided by 41 and that is equivalent to 100 41 times 4 is 164 so 4 times 25 is 100 x square is 100 therefore x is equal to square root of 100 that is 10 x is 10 80 percent of 10 is 8 so y will be equals to 8 so the numbers are 8 and 10 so option B is the right answer. This is the final question now. Two numbers A and B are such that the sum of 5% of A and 4% of B is two thirds of the sum of 6% of A and 8% of B. Find the ratio A is to B. Well, the question is big but it is very easy. You have been given two numbers A and B and you have been given other information like the sum of 5% of A and 4% of B. So 5% of A which means 5 by 100 times A. So I have 5A by 100 plus 4% of B. So 4 upon 100 B is equal to it is 2 thirds of the sum of so I have two thirds of the sum of 6% of A, 6 by 100 A and 8% of B. So plus 8 by 100 B. So this equation we have to solve and find the ratio of A and B. So I have, I have 5A plus 4B upon 100 is equals to, I have two thirds of 6a plus 8b upon 100 and that is 5a plus 4b upon 100 is equals to 6 times 2 is 12a plus 8 to the 16 so 16b upon 300 so these zeros and these zeros get cancelled out this 3 goes to the left so what remains is we have 3 fives are 15 so 15 a plus 3 fours are 12 so 12 b is equal to 12 a plus 16 b so this a comes to the left and this b goes to the right so 15 a minus 12 a is equals to 16 b minus 12 b so what we have is 15 a minus 12 a is 3 a is equals to 16 b minus 12 b is 4 b so therefore a by b is equals to 4 by 3 so the ratio is 4 is to 3 that is option d